Uh, well, I was born in Edmonton, Alberta. Went through school here. I was in plays when I was in grade three, I remember, and drama clubs, and I always just had the bug. I had heard about the U University of Alberta drama program and thought I would apply. I didn't really know that I wanted it to be my career. I just thought I want to keep this going, whatever this, this bug is that I have. I had no reason to expect that I would do a career in paleontology. But when I went to uh, the University of Alberta, uh, I was lucky enough to get a, a summer job with uh, Dr. Richard Fox. He found the first, uh, the first multidubricular skeleton in the age of mammals from North America. Ultimately, uh, he and a, a collaborator from Harvard University <coughs> published a paper in Science. And this was while he was still a student. You know, as a kid, it was just, I was going to university. There was no two ways about it. Mom and Dad wouldn't hear anything else. And uh, I knew I wanted to do something in sport. We talk about sort of, we both have a university education, how much independence it's given us. And I think that's what the U of A has given Mal, is some independence and to know that she's educated and she went to a great school. And, and I think that's something that gives you strength, especially as a woman. I was just uh, looking for somebody to go out with and so on. So I. Uh, just uh, went through the yearbook and I came across her name and picture and gave her a call. I had a boyfriend I was going out with a fellow who was in engineering and he got a summer job way up north. When Myron phoned me up, I thought he was a friend of my boyfriend. So that's why I accepted. Uh, obviously it went well because uh, we kept on seeing each other. I really had wanted to take an MD degree. They didn't encourage women to go into medicine. And I thought, next to medicine, the best thing to do is to learn how to eat properly. It was 24 hours, seven days a week, you know, 12 months a year, just digging in, learning as much as we could. And not just the bug to perform and be in front of people, that really was, I guess, part of it. But it was, it was a lot of self-discovery, it was a lot of understanding the art. Like the game was important and the wins and losses were important, but it was how you developed the people and what they became once they left you and your impact in that and I know that's what I've always tried to do as a coach. You know, Claire's always about that and, and everybody that works for him is about that. I walked to university because I lived quite close and every day I walked by the, uh, what used to be the William Eberhardt TB Sanatorium. I remember every time I walked by it thinking there are lots of places in the world where TB is still prevalent and I wonder if someday some knowledge that I might have through studying pharmacy might be able to help. I feel that I got an extremely uh, well-rounded education at the University of Alberta that, that uh, again, has been the rock that I've built on. I never cared about a lot of money and I always, I just feel so fulfilled to think, I, you know, I, I just sit and feel what a fortunate woman I've been and I have so many marvelous memories of the University of Alberta.